Yeah, Vanderbilt's got a really good offense. Number one offense in the SEC. 318 team batting average for in the top of the order. And he slices one to the left side and punches it through. So a leadoff hit for Enrique Bradfield, and that will bring Carter Young, the shortstop, swings at the first and sends this one towards the gap. Diving grab by Dylan Cruz. Are you kidding me? Dylan Cruz has done it all for LSU. You're just a true freshman. Watch this. Gets an outstanding jump and lays out in the right center field. Runner goes, throw to second, almost got him. A strike out of Keegan, but Bradfield picks up his 19th bag of the year. Four pitch walk in a couple close ones in that one. Kern Nolan from Jaden Hill. Nice block by Milazzo wow. behind the plate. Outstanding effort. Two in scoring position to pay off. Change up, wave that. Hill avoids trouble. Hey everyone, Wheels here. I want to remind you all to hit that subscribe button because over 80% of you watching right now are not subbed to the channel. It's completely free and helps me out a lot. Thanks everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And not an extra base hit yet. Swing and a miss. It dispatches Morgan. And there's one down. And Change up. Two different breaking balls. Oh, a fastball at his face. That is a fair ball down the line. A late pickup and throw. And it's off the glove of Dominic Keegan. Talk about an excuse me hit for Will Safford. Safford running, pitches low. It's ball four. That's irrelevant at second. And LSU's got two aboard in the first inning against Jack Leiter on an error and a walk. That one handcuffed Rodriguez. Both runners will advance. Start. We know he's dominated non-conference well. He answered that pretty quickly with 16 punch outs and a no hitter. One, two. Yeah, right back there. Big strikeout, second of the inning. That is big time stuff right there. The 2-2 two -two with the bases juice. Strike three called. Got him looking at 95. Three strikeouts, but a pair of walks and an error. And he IDs that one and pops it up into shallow center. Shortstop Thompson calls for it. 2-2 Two -two to Jones. Golfs it into center field. Late jump, Safford, and it's going to drop in front of him. Safford new to the starting lineup this season, fourth most in the league. Roller right side. Bungled by Morgan, and he can't win the race to the bag. That doesn't happen very often. Morgan's got a sterling defensive reputation. A lot more confidence at the plate now. Comes from a baseball family. His dad was a pulmonary is coming out. What do we got? Did you see something with Jaden Hill? And one of the top prospects in the country has to leave early. Jaden Hill, after just 34 pitches, is out of the game. Runners go and no throw. Two more stolen bases for Vandy. Into right center, coming on strong and making a diving attempt with Safford. It got by him. One run is home. Here comes the second. And it's a two-run shot for Enrique Bradfield. Well, Vanderbilt doing what LSU couldn't do in the bottom of the first inning. LSU had bases loaded and one out, could not score a run. But the true freshman, Enrique Bradfield Jr., barrels this ball up. An outstanding effort by Safford. He can't come up with it. Lays out right there. And remember, Safford's a middle infielder trying to learn to play the outfield. High and deep to left field, pushing Dugas back. It is gone. A three-run shot for Carter Young. The bat has arrived. Wow, you talk about turning one around. Predictable count, right? 3-2 count. Brady throws a fastball. It is not located very good at all. Middle of the plate, just about thigh high. And Carter Young knows exactly what to do with that. His sixth home run of the year. His 25th RBI of the year. And that's a big ball. He knew it right away. Mm. 
cleared the bleachers. Okay, out of all 16 on that fastball. Mm. Fourth track out of the game, Leiter dispatches Thompson. Here's the payoff. Curveball mm. looked at. That is four straight strikeouts. Two swinging and two looking. Fastball, mm. swing and a miss, 96 wow. at time. He has struck out five in a row. Jack Leiter has found his groove. Pull to the right side. That one will get into right field. And Parker Nolan has a knock. 2 1 pitch to Bulger. Chance for two. Thompson to Cranford. Sidearms to finish it off. A chance to DH. And he rings one up the middle. His second hit of the game. There, LSU being one of them. Swing and a miss. Double play helps out. It's a freshman Morgan at the plate. And he's been overmatched in this one. 0 for 2 with a couple of K's. For LSU. Second time Leiter's gone to a full count, and that's his third walk. We felt like taking a chance on him that he would pick up some velocity, and boy, has he ever in a big way. That is already eight strikeouts here in the third for Leiter. The only and, and when Dad asks a question like that, it's a legitimate question, you know, and I'm telling you right now, it's it's bad though. Leiter's got the Tigers by the tail right now because he's got that thing dancing like a minnow. Well hit center field, drifting back Bradfield. Uh, Jack Leiter hasn't given up an extra base hit all season. They've got the shift on for the lefty Beloso, and he's frozen by the breaking ball. That is strikeout number 10. Swing and a miss. Leiter's at it again. He has struck out 11, only one out to do that. This one muscled into shallow center. It's going to drop for a base hit. Bulger. Bulger drives one deep to left field. At the wall, Saffer runs out of space. It bounces off the bleacher. Second home run of the season for Bulger. Well, I'm impressed with Vanderbilt. The ability to be on time with the fastball. We've seen it time and time again. This is a mistake pitch, but it's a fastball. But it's an approach when you go to the plate. If you're looking for a fastball and you get it in the quadrant you're looking for, get your swing off, and Bulger does it in a big way with that one. To Missouri over seven. LSU line drive, base hit. And Collier Cranford is on the board, and that's the first hit allowed by Jack Leiter in quite some time. Out since March 13th in Stillwater. Here's Keegan. One down on the road at Missouri. 0 2. And that's a clean hit into left field. Couple of knocks for LSU, and it gets by Bulger in left. Crineford is going to end up at third. Little roller on the right side. Nolan has it. A run will come home. And that'll be the first time in 25 innings Leiter is allowed a run. Being as good as any of them. Leiter better than him tonight. He struck him out twice. 12 strikeouts. Lead off walk. Ripped to right. It's inside the line and fair. Bradfield motors to third. He is being waved home. Lost in the corner by Cruz. Headed to third is Carter Young. Well, how many times have we said it tonight? On time for the fastball again. He just rips this one down the right field line. He kind of got down there by that tarp. This is a line drive right over the head of the first baseman, Trey Morgan. You can see Dylan Cruz gets to it pretty quick, but right there kind of kicks it around. Can't come due to start in the SEC. Keegan pops it up. Here's Cruz. That's the third out of the inning, but he is showing off that arm. Hey, scouts are in the oh, building. Yeah. And two or three different pitches. Into left. One down. Uh, Bauer, by the way, is out of the game after six and a third. You know, do throw mid-90s, but it seems to get barreled up like that one. 
And that one is deep to left and gone. First home run allowed by Jack Leiter this season off the bat of Cade Doty. It's Doty's ninth. Giving the hometown fans something to get excited about. Boy, I tell you what, Leiter hasn't missed too many times tonight. This is one of those breaking balls. You watch it just sit right in the middle of the plate, and K. Doty knows exactly what to do with that. Almost a backup slider just sat there and spun it. He quickly deposits this one out in straightaway left field. I'll tell a pitcher, hey, you have until X, and then we're going to take you out. Right. Against the shift, here's Young. Into center. Bradfield is there. And if that is it for Jack Leiter, another great night at the ballpark. Just one mistake, Ben, the pitch to Doty. He broke into the big leagues last year. We saw it there, triple digits. Filleted into left field. This one's going to reach the fence before Dugas gets to it. And Parker Nolan will stand up at second with a one out double. Experience. What, what are their, most of their questions about? And I think those machines are very valuable. Bounce through the middle. Here's Nolan around third. He's going to score. Throw to third for Bulger and a set throw back to second. What a Adam. Third hit of the game for Spencer Jones. It drives in a run. Into right. Racing back as Cruz turns all the way around and he. He dropped it. He didn't know it's right in front of him. He was in his glove and he wasn't aware. Two runs have scored and Gonzalez ends up at third. Ben, I think Dylan Cruz caught it, but he didn't know it. It did look like it hit in his glove and he didn't know it was in his glove. And when he opened it up, the ball fell out. He couldn't find it. And Gonzalez goes all the way around to third base. Two more oh. runs come in. I take it back. It would have been a trap. He just knocked it down. You can see on the replay, short hops his glove after he lost his footing. That may there actually be Brody Drost out. Looks like Dylan. Good eyes. Apologies to uh, Dylan Cruz. First pitch swinging into center. Bradfield has it. Oh, or not. Here's the freshman Safford and to the right side flag down by Nolan threw it away. He threw it wide. Cranford goes to third and that will allow Safford to fill in behind him. It's Louisiana to Barb High School. They've sent some players to LSU in the past. That one a little bit better for Nolan. Rip to the right side and pass Morgan. Second hit for Bulger and will bring a uh, probably uh, fourth hit for Spencer Jones weekend series by the way with this victory tonight. We go to the bottom of the ninth on a late night. Hey a lead off walk like maybe a Florida right just kind of mediocre just kind of getting by from what we thought they would be and then all of a sudden they really get it clicking. I think it's in the tank for Florida as well. Nine million dollars later. Yeah. Here's yeah, he your me of that. Let's go. <laughs> Line out to center, and Bradfield's got that liner with the wind goes to seven and oh Hill unfortunately left early, took the loss. Maldonado picks up his second save.